Um, <laughs> so Warren's been caught in a lie. And I know all the reason that why these are the top five examples of her being a, an absolute uh, racist fraud. Here's what's important about this. I know, I know everyone really doesn't like her, so we'll give you the reasoning here. We'll yeah. list some of the examples that many yeah. of you have probably forgotten. I forgot about one. Number one, I had completely forgotten about until I actually was brought to my attention by Reg, our researcher. What really matters here is that she profited from this lie. Yeah, she played off of for it. For years. And this is, again, why, why, why would she lie? We've talked about that with Me Too movement. <laughs> For the same reason, I guess Elizabeth Warren lied. Christine Ford could have lied. People lie for all kinds of reasons. Okay, so top five examples. Uh, I guess top five times Elizabeth Warren yeah. acted like this. Uh, number five, she 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 repeatedly used the heritage as a talking point in political campaigns. So <laughs> the one I love is the story of her mother being discriminated against because she was part. <laughs> this is the my mom clip. and dad uh, were very much in love with each other and they wanted to get married and my father's parents said absolutely not you can't marry her because she's part Cherokee and she's part <laughs> Delaware wait are you just, are you just rehashing Pocahontas is she, <laughs> I think she's rehashing Pocahontas <laughs> like, and her, that means her dad is 100% a moron and a racist <laughs> yes <laughs> so it's like he's real racist and also an idiot he's also an idiot yeah. <laughs> Which leads us actually right into the next one, uh, reason number four, or I guess example number four. She, what's funny, she actually, she doubled down yeah. on the native, the heritage, are we supposed to say Native American? Yeah. Or, I, well, I don't native know. Native is fine. Native but, is Two-spirited. But the point is she did it. Because Indians. She actually said that her papa had, quote, high cheekbones, like all the Indians do. My Aunt B has walked by that picture aunt at B. least a thousand <laughs> times, remarked that he, that her father, my papa, had high Apple. cheekbones like all of the Indians do because that's how she saw it. And my Racist. uncle, Uncle Redskin. <laughs> Example number three, she identified as Native American during her teaching career at Harvard. Uh, this comes from Boston Globe here. I think we have this as an overlay. So, but by the way, there's a huge difference uh -huh. between saying I have some Cherokee in my in my blood, in, right. in, in my ancestry somewhere, which, by the way, most people do. Yeah. And that's because of intermarrying. Yeah. This idea of genocide, actually, they intermarried quite a bit. There are more you know, 1 16th Cherokee, Comanche, whatever, yeah. Native Americans, partial Native Americans than ever before in the history of this country. But there's a big difference between saying, I might have some Native American blood in me and, and actually checking the Native American box <laughs> instead of white, <laughs> which is what she did for Harvard. It's the exact opposite of Sean King, who claimed he was the victim of a hate crime because he was black, but then he checked Caucasian when filing the report. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring oh us to uh, another example. Uh, Harvard actually reported Warren as a Native American in their federal diversity statistics. The Law Review Tatter <laughs> as being one of the <laughs> first, the Andrew Tatter as being uh, quote, gonna, the first woman of color hired at Harvard. What? <laughs> Harvard, try and do a little better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're gonna champion this like the Ricola guy with the horn yeah. in the commercial, like, she's the first colored woman at Harvard. <laughs> she's really well she's uh, not in person, she's not even on paper. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my God. To give you, so this is, the, the I think, the, the prime example. And I had forgotten about this. And then when it was brought up, I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that. I, for, I had forgotten okay. about this. We're going to do this segment. So Elizabeth Warren uh, submitted the, her family Cherokee recipes for a cookbook. It was, it was called Pow Wow Chow. <laughs> And her That's recipes racist. turned out to be plagiarized. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. If this is not proof positive of deliberate deception gaming the system, I don't know what is. Oh, what, what, again, I'm a little murky. How is this not considered cultural appropriation? How is it, we're at a point, how is this not considered cultural? If, if anyone here were to do this and claim something that was com Done. complete, you've been accused of it, Quarter Black Air. Yeah. And you're yep. a Quarter Black. Yep. You would apply for the grant for the, the Native American the Firewater water Money grant like three <laughs> times, four times over. <laughs> a, full, a quarter, I don't know how to do this. I'm not good at fractions. Yeah. Oh but I God. do know that it's more than one and one thousand. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, it's, it, she didn't, here's the thing. All of these things you added up, it's not like she acted like she might be one and one twenty thousand, one thousand. 24th Native American. She acted like she grew up steeped in the culture. Yeah, I was eating yeah. pow wow chow with paw paw, smoking peace pipes, <laughs> and then we'd watch the we would go over with to our friend's house where they built igloos in the in the winter and watch the sunrise. And she, then, then we went through a naming ceremony and I, I cut weight with Matthew Modine and started hallucinating. Are you just quoting Vision Quest? Shit, they figured me out again. She faked an elope.
<laughs> like her parents didn't really elope like that. This is a woman who lied about an entire race of people. And here's the thing, by the way, she didn't just say like, hey, I'm Native American and I'm proud of that. She said, I'm Native American and Papa has high cheekbones <laughs> and he has no chest hair and I have no ass and we smoke peace pipes and we don't process alcohol well because we don't have the proper genetic ends. Like you, you just, you picked all of the stereotypes from the show, yeah. threw them into a pot and said, here, vote for me. <laughs> she doesn't even drive a Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs>